What's going on everybody? My name is Charles Willis Swimming Pools. Welcome back to the vlog. We're here at a returning client. He gave us a call. We actually did a repair for him back a few months ago. We repaired his spa uh, main drain uh, from a leak that he was experiencing. And we're here uh, at next to the equipment. He let us know that his pool pump, which is a Hayward Max Flow, is sprung a leak. And we told him what uh, we should be done to it. But he asked me, you know, given the the times that we're in with uh, the COVID. Uh, we're in the COVID pandemic times right now and uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving is nearing, so he just wanted to see what I could do for him. So I wanted to give you a quick tip here on what you can do in case your pool pump experiences the same problem, which with his, is sprung a leak on the actual body of the wet end of the pump. I'm gonna show you right now. So uh, this is his uh, Hayward Max Flow pump. Uh, it sprung a leak right in the body cavity right here of the wet end of the pump, not in between any of the gaps of uh, where everything bolts up into, but actually right here where this little white piece of uh, paper is. We're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna go and turn on the system. You can see it is from the leak. Right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to do a uh, patch repair right here at this point. And I'm gonna show you how we get that done right now. Here are a few of the things that we're gonna be doing to uh, do this little patch up. Uh, you're gonna to need to get yourself a uh, set of uh, JB Weld. I've used this many, many times for the same application and it works very, very well the way that I've uh, figured out how to apply this uh, to the sprung leak. Um, a little napkin. I got here my uh, glue caddy where we're gonna be using the cleaner of the caddy. And just something here to uh, do the two-part mixture of the uh, compound uh, together. Anything is good just so you can have a mixing uh, platform. And then maybe like a flathead or some type of uh, spatula that to uh, go ahead and put it on there. Um, a lot of times uh, when I uh, have it with me, I don't have it today, I use maybe like an 80 grit uh, sandpaper to scuff up the areas. Other times I use my uh, grinder from my Makita uh, circular saw uh, blade and I just grind up the area very lightly uh, so that's what we're going to be using today in the area so we're going to be wiping it down I'm going to be pinpointing exactly where the spring the leak is uh, has sprung a leak at so it's right there where it's very notorious right between these two seams the reason why this happens a lot of times is a high pressure within the system. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and grind down this little area and do a cleanup on it, and then start doing our mixture compound to start to apply it. Let's see if we can get this set up.
The black side is the actual steel. And what I like about this is it leaves it black. There it is. I'm gonna try to mix the same amount together. Take this with me. First one, I try to really push into whatever hole was there, and then I come on top and layer it. This is a temporary repair, just to get the guy past the holidays. Uh, we give no warranty with this, but we've been very successful over time in sealing up these little pinhole cracks, especially within the uh, these Hayward models. This one here is a Max Flow. We've also done it to the, the Super Pumps and the Super 2s. So the main portion was right here in the center where my screwdriver is pointing at. Let me show you a closer look at how it looks. Again, it's a patch top. And we layer it in the center and we make sure that this dries, this does not turn on. So that's how we're gonna Keep cleaning it up a little bit here and there and showing that we have a uh, thick layer which we do another layer right on top of the current one that we last showed you uh, so we have a consistent layer of two to three layers on top right there well, that does it for this little mini repair. You wanna let this, uh, I typically tell the clients to let it uh, seal up and harden for 24 to 48 hours. Typically I like to do a 48 hour hold uh, to ensure that everything is solid because this is in high pressure area. So give it about a good 48 hours to uh, fully cure and harden up and then you should be uh, predominantly good if you follow the steps in this video. Again, post your comments down below, like and subscribe to my page. Many more quick tips 
and little repairs that can get you along until you're able to replace and update your swimming pool equipment and anything else you may have. Like and subscribe to my page. Thank you so much. On to the next one.